If, um, so I was just working up in uh, New Mexico, and like we were filming around Los Alamos. Have you have you ever been to Los Alamos? No. And like, it's uh, it's amazing that like people just haven't seen the laboratory, the current Los Alamos Research Laboratory, which is you know across the street from where Oppenheimer lived when he was doing the Manhattan Project, which was this boys' school that they kicked everyone out and all the scientists moved in, which was not in the film, which is quite interesting. Like, Los Alamos, if you can ever go there and see the museums and, you know, it's just a fascinating place to see where they built that bomb. But across the street, or actually across this river from where Oppenheimer lived, is now the current Los Alamos research laboratory. Pull up a picture of that one if, if you want to see something mind-blowing. It's bigger than... UCLA campus. It's this massive research facility um, in Los Alamos, which, and you can't see half of it. It's supposedly a giant chunk of it is underground. It's completely (laughs) armed. We would drive, there's a road, that road at the top there is this access road that we would drive every day to go up. There's a ski mountain above it. So for some reason, they let you drive fairly close, but it's all Homeland Security protecting it, super fortified and armed, and it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. And this was birthed from, yeah, you can see where it is, right? It's in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. We first got up there and we're like, what are they doing here? And like... Everyone's like, well, it's digital warfare, it's um, nuclear maintenance, it's, you know, alien dissection. (laughs) It is like, like, like forget Area 51. This place was like, you know, so if we're inventing shit, this is the kind of place we're inventing it. And we went out a couple of days to these, uh, there's, you know, some restaurants and bars in the town of Los Alamos. And I'm like, if I'm China... I'm just hiring, I'm hiring hot girls, getting them to turn and putting them as bartenders or cocktail waitresses because all the scientists from Los Alamos just go there after work and get drunk. That's where, that's where everything's going down. Wow. Like you got it. Like half of it's underground. Well, that's what they say. Like we'd be up on this mountain. There's a. It, did this place that's is, what it looks like it's wow it looks massive dope. Oh, and it's, it's in the middle of it's nowhere it's in the middle of nowhere that's so wild and like, i'm like i try and start conversation i'm like guys what do you know about los alamos jamie what's that image to the left it's got all I, the i looked it up too what is I that don't know what, it is. what the but fuck they've got like they've that? got like the um accelerators you know have yeah. you ever heard like particle accelerators mm-hmm. i mean i'm sure half your listeners know what this is yeah but like this is all was all started by Oppenheimer. Wow. Every the whole the I it used to be a log cabin. That, no, that's the <laughs> school. That? I think that's the school that they took over. They show a little bit of it. In, oh, for in all Nolan's the scientists. Film. Yeah, it was such a crazy story. Like how they just, these scientists just moved into this this school, kicked all the kids out under you know national security order, and the scientists moved in and they just they were, and like to your point, no one knew what anyone else was doing when they were building the bomb. So you're working on one part, I'm working on another. Our wives have no idea what's going on. Um, we're going out and building the bomb all day and coming home and just like drinking. They all drank and like I think there was like. A lot of wife swapping and weird shit going on too. <laughs> they were just partying and building fucking nuclear bombs. Jesus. And now you go out there and see what this, and it's just like I just want to know what are we doing, how much does it cost, and who's in charge, and Los Alamos now. So so if there is those systems. In my mind, if there was an alien ship found the government wanted, they're going to take it to Los Alamos. That's where they're going to take it. That's where they're going to dissect it. And whatever's going on out there is some deep and real shit. (laughs) That's where Lazar worked.